All right, I wanted to make a video today about another um uh what is this called the a video about basic and chat gtp helping me with um like learning how to code and stuff like that uh i think it's pretty interesting i've been sitting around here just kind of i wanted to make a survival game that has a 30 day counter so every day is every day is a turn and then so far the only mechanics i have is basically um is basically each day that goes by you have the the option to look for a survivor and an option to not look for a survivor. All that happens when you choose not to look is that you go to the next day, and then if you look, you have a 40% chance of it happening. And I'm just going to write the code out and basically go through it. This is as complicated of code as I could come up with. Now, I did I did have ChatGTP help me a lot um, because the, there was there would always be something I like forgot or didn't understand, and uh, took a lot of hours of just like sitting here kind of <laughs> figuring it out, but. I've been like really enjoying playing around with uh, ChatGTP. Obviously, ChatGTP is not open, but I have the notepad open for the code, and I just pasted it in there. It's just easier for me to read, and then I'm gonna just basically go through it. So I don't I'm not saying I'm gonna make a full fledged game, but I've been I've been trying to kind of figure out how to make like a game that has a loop where you manage survivors in a post apocalypse. And so each day you get to make a decision, uh, you know, you just figure out statistically of, of like, do I want to go look for people, resources, or weight, or whatever, right? And deal with like several confrontations every turn, and based on your management of that, you will either lose too many survivors and die, or you will gain enough survivors and make it to day 30 and uh, win. So that's sort of the, that was sort of the idea, but um, it's a lot harder to program than I thought. It's just, so that's sort of the issue. Um, let me make myself just slightly bigger here. I think that would be nice right there. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with line 10, s equals zero, enter 20, s equals s plus one. So set first or variable s, which is gonna be our survivors is zero, and then we're adding one survivor to variable s. Um, 30 print, this is a day, right now I don't have like a super awesome title or anything like that, um, so, uh, this is a day survival counter, uh, 40, four day equals 1 to 30. So this is a, I don't know how to describe it. 4 is a, is a function. Day is the variable. 1 to 30. And so it's going to count. When I set up 4 next, it's going to loop back to this uh, and count one more up. So that's how you set that up. So 50 uh, print uh press enter to continue right so i have ran this code before so i know it works that's sort of why i'm doing this i wouldn't be doing this blind because th that would take um forever so there this line of code which which i thought was interesting print uh press enter to continue and then it has a separate it has the two dots colon or semicolon or whatever right it has um it has the the input right in this line of code next to the print, but you can do input and then within the parentheses or whatever write the the, the what you wanted to write and then do start at, um, dollar sign and that will work too. But for some reason, ChatGTP thinks that's absolutely not the way to do it, so I'm gonna do it this way, um, even though I know the other way works. And put start dollar sign uh right and input does okay i think i got that right yeah anyway so 60 i just want to have um i i can design the outline when the program runs have a bunch of print statements and lines to kind of space things out as the program is running so it's not all a bunch of clutter cluttered text which is kind of how it runs right now uh there's ways to design things to disappear and stuff like that um to make it like cleaner just for the user experience when the game is running. Uh, but right now I'm not gonna do that. 
So I'm going to kind of make sure it's like this. I think this is how to make a line that's um, long enough for when it's actually fully expanded. All right, so 70 print you currently have s the, so the s i'm using the variable s to show that i have one survivor so it's going to have you have one survivors now i know that's not right right i don't know how to get it to change the word survivor or survivors based off it's if it's one or many uh that would take like more programming i, I just i can't um can't do it it's it would take too long um for me to do that believe it or not so we're just they're just gonna say survivors and assume that uh, one is also survivors now. So, eighty print uh, day is writing the word day because it's a print statement, and then we're gonna do set up day as the variable because we we did for day equals one to thirty, right? And so we're at one. So it's gonna say you currently have one survivor day one. This is essentially what that code is going to say when it's running. Uh, 90 print do wait, oops do you want to look for survivor survivors question mark and then we're going to do one yes to no and then put it in quotations uh a hundred input we're gonna do an input here so because we just told the player they're gonna about to make an option so we need to input i'm just gonna do r and then 110 is gonna be if r equals one right if r equals one, then go to 150, 100, uh, uh, line 120. If r equals two, then go to 130. 125, print. Uh, so if you put anything other than one or two, right, it will, it will, if, if it's not one or two, it won't go to 150 or 130. It'll go straight down to 125, which will say, which one will tell, tell the player in valid, in valid input, please enter one for Yes or two four no. Is there more code over there? And then yeah, and then the uh, quotation. All right. One twenty seven, and then I'm just gonna. I, I I'm not sure if this even needs to be here right now so 127 w would activate if let's say it goes print uh, yeah it should if that line shows up then the this this line should show up and that's just to kind of break things up a little bit now sometimes it's worth just to take it take the time to kind of uh, sit down and like put all these lines and spaces and all that in the right places so we, when the game is running it's a little bit cleaner looking um, but right now I'm not gonna do that I just want to work out how to make these functions work so 128 go to 90 uh, yeah so it that way it re if you did not press one or two it'll just show you invalid error and then it'll print the line and then it'll go to and then go to 90 yeah, so and then go to 90, which will ask you again if you want to look for survivors. 128, 130, 
print choose not to look that's in case just in case you want to not look going to oh wait chose chose not to, yeah chose not not to look going to where am i i just lost where i'm going to next day And then 131 is go to uh, go to 225. Uh, 225 is RAM. This is here. So 225. I was having an issue with sending, having using go to statements to go to to go to ex, um, exactly to the line that's that says next day, which I thought would work, but I I seem to have. Um, so I, I forget what it's called. It's a de def. I think it was a def error. I, I forget what the error was called. But if I didn't send it to a different line, that would eventually just naturally go to next day. Naturally, it would have like a wrong loop error. I'm not really sure why that was happening or how why. But basically, the reason <clears throat> it is going to two two five is because then it naturally goes to next day, and then it just then the loop normally completes itself i don't really understand why you can't just tell it to go straight to um 230 but you can't do it without having uh errors so 150 uh print your uh survivors right this is this is our variable for survivors uh survivors went to look this is what yeah is that 150 i'm just trying to make sure i'm on the right line because i'm getting lost now uh print print your survivors went to look 150 Uh, your survivors want to look okay. One sixty, oops. Uh, one sixty. It'll so that'll say print uh one fifty print your one survivors. So if you had well, it'll it'll it might be one, but it'll still say survivors want to look. Because we were setting that ver ver our survival variable s, which will say how much we'll just we'll just say the number of um, that we have of survivors. All right, one sixty. So this is this is like a super useful piece of code that I didn't come up with. This is just like I found it through copying other games. Num equals int. So our variable num equals um, integer. It integerizes it. Now, I didn't really realize that code reads itself from, I think, right to left, if I'm not, um, if I'm not wrong about that. Times RND uh, one. I, I'm not entirely, I remember, I used to remember how exactly this piece of work, uh, um, it uses, I think, one as the seed for random and then times it by 100 and then the integer takes that partial number and gives you basically it makes a uh, generates a number or random random number between one and one hundred, but I kind of forgot exactly how this formula works. So, but that's what we're doing. So, and the reason I use that is because I need a random number between one and one hundred to um in order to in order to have this next code here uh work num if num right because the variable is num is less than 40 because i want there to be a 40 percent chance we find a survivor each day then go to 210 and 210 is so if we have less than 40 that gives us a 40 percent chance to have s plus s plus one or s equals s plus one uh which will give us another survivor so, but then if we don't, there's a 60% chance we don't. 180 if num is bigger than 
uh, 40, then go to 190, right? Then 190. I actually, I don't think I, I, I did. I don't know if I need this line here because obviously it would just go to. I don't think I do because it would just go to 190 anyway. Print you didn't. Uh, it would just yeah. I don't. I think I can get rid of 180, but I. I know this code works right now, so I don't want to move anything around while I'm recording and find out uh, that I messed it up. So I don't think I need 180 because it would just naturally go to 190 print. Print, uh, you did not find, find any survivors. Uh, go to 225 and 225 goes to rem or my rem statement uh right here it goes to my rem statement and then that slides naturally into uh 230 which allows my next day to work properly next being a function and day being the variable or yeah the variable which keeps track of my days that took me a while to understand i it's it's weird how long it's taking me to understand this stuff but anyway we're s slowly grinding through it i think it i think the problem is i'm just not spending enough time in a row doing this so it's like i just forget what i learned the other day un unless i just do like six hours straight of it all right s equals s plus one uh yeah so there yeah wait a minute uh yeah because 210 is for 210 is for 170 that's for our forty percent chance to get this guy, and then uh, two twenty print. You found one survivor. You now. You now have. Uh, S survivors because we just added one, so it'll accurately tell me now that S has been updated. It'll tell me that I have two or whatever, and then two to five is our rem. This is here to help. I hope. That's what I was thinking at the time, at least. I I wasn't sure if I was doing the right thing. It'd be kind of crazy if it didn't work again. Um. Wait. Uh. Two thirty. Two thirty. Next day. Next day. We know what that is. That's for our main loop. Two forty. Uh. If day. If day. If day equals thirty. So if our we're we're doing an if statement if our variable day it equals to thirty, then function go to two fifty, and then two fifty is of course congratulations is it'll say congratulations you got to day thirty, press enter to try again, uh, print press enter to run again or type any other key to end. Actually, I think the end of this code does not work. I actually think my program froze. I did. I never got this last part to work, and I'll have to just work on that later. Uh, two forty, two fifty. Uh, print. Congratulations! You got to day third. 30. Yeah, actually, I could do with. Actually, I could do uh, S survivors. Right? So it'll tell you hey, you're day 30, you have so many survivors at the end of your game. 260. Uh, print. 260 print. Press enter to run again or type or type any other key 
to end. Program. All right. To say two seventy, two seventy. Input a dollar sign. Uh, yeah. So two seventy print. See, this is where I think I didn't. I I know I'm doing this wrong. I'm pretty sure. Input as. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I for, I forget. Put, putting an uh putting a dollar sign after um a string. I forget what that means to be honest. Anyway, I'm gonna write this out, and when the and then when I get to the end and the program freezes, that's fine, and then I'll just work on that on my own time. Because I I won't I have to like reread what that means really or how to set this up so you can end, either rerun the program or end it. Uh, which seems like it should be super simple, but not quite for me. Uh, then go to twenty. And then 290 if a dollar sign is not uh, start dollar sign then go to 290 300 and wait did I just tell 290 to go to 290 well that's probably what pro hold on uh, the, uh I wanted I wanted them to press a specific button. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Um, this is not gonna work. But whatever, I'm just gonna type this out. The first part of it will work, and then this part won't. Pretty yeah. So anyway, so I'm gonna run the program. Run. Okay, so I'm gonna move my head over a little bit because I'm in the way. So. Uh, this is a day survival counter press enter to continue. This is if I typed it out, out right, it could just not I could have made a mistake somewhere. You currently have one survivors. I know that's wrong. Uh, day one. Do you want to look for survivors? Yes. One yes, two no. I'm gonna say yes. Enter. Your survivors went out your one survivors went out to look. You did not find any survivors, so we got a number that was above forty. Press enter to continue. You currently have one survivors day two. Do you want to look for survivors? Yes. Your survivors went out to look. You found one survivor. Survivor, you uh, you now have two survivors. Enter. You currently have two survivors day three. So you can see the days are going up. Uh, and the amount of survivors we have um, is going up, basically. So yeah, at forty percent each time. So uh, your two survivors went out to look. You did not find any survivors. Enter to continue. You currently have two survivors. Wait, is it do? It. I'm now. I'm just pressing enter. I'm not even pressing. Um, so that's a problem, right? Oh wait, yeah. Because any other key should um, be throwing me to the message of invalid input please enter um yeah that i don't really understand why it's doing that press enter to continue you currently have three survivors day six would you like to go to survivors if i press enter it registers it as a one your three survivors went out to look you did not find any survivors maybe enter just won't ever find survivors Will it? You found, yeah, I guess enter is like one. It just counts it as one for some reason. So I don't, that's something I just don't understand why it's doing that. So I'm gonna do two, just to make sure two still works. You chose not to look, go into the next day, press enter to continue. Yeah, so we were day 10, day 11, no works. One works. Let me do, let me do six, just to make sure. Invalid input, please enter one for yes, two for no. So that still works, but for some reason, enter is also being registered as one. So I'm just gonna go keep pressing yes. As you, as you can see, your, slow, your days are going by and you can choose to look for survivors or not. So it's a very, very, very simple program, uh, which I needed help from, needed help from GPT to write even this. But, um, so I'm just gonna go through the days kind of quick, as you see, 
sometimes we find them, sometimes we don't. And that's that's sort of the main loop. I wanted to put, um, I want to put later like more functions into like looking for supplies. If you're running out of supplies, because maybe your survivors will die if you don't have any supplies. So you have to take a risk for that. Um, but yeah, so we're at day 25. We're just 11 survivors, 26. Uh, 27. So eventually you get to day 30. And when you get to your survivors want to look, uh, uh, you found, you, so we ended with 13 survivors and day 30, and then it just keeps, okay, your survivors want to look, you did not find any survivors, congratulations, you got to day 30, so we wanted that message with 13 survivors, so it tells you, hey, this is how well you did, press enter again, uh, press enter to run again, or type any other key to um, program, press enter, so if I press enter, I should, Press enter. It's not running it. I think it ended the program. Um, what I thought was would happen is it would have input A. Um, I should just do some other key. I wanted I wanted to enter or escape, but I don't know how to do that right now. If A dollar sign equals start, because before I use start dollar sign for enter i thought enter then if you hit enter i thought that would go back to 20 and restart the program and then if you hit anything else it would yeah that doesn't make any sense i did it wrong i should just avoid enter because i don't know how to do that right now but anyway so the program just uh, ends because it just goes down the line i think but anyway that's the program i hope you guys enjoyed it i th this is like couldn't have couldn't have been doing this without ChatGTP. It's a real great helper because any little nuanced thing you don't understand, it just kind of you can just keep asking it until you do understand it. So yeah, that's my program right now, and I'm gonna maybe expand on this program or do a different game kind of because I kind of like this idea of having survivors that you manage with supplies, and that'll be my like little um, text ad adventure um, strategy game right for me that i'm gonna play and so but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh goodbye